guys watching from behind the white wall. Thank you. Much appreciated and welcome. Good morning, good morning, good morning. We're a wee bit late this morning, but we are rushing down towards the sunrise. Okay, now that that bucket is complete, look at that prettiness. Eskim, that's disgusting. Hey, St. Leash has been upgraded. Hmm, another boat locker. No, no, not another boat locker. Not yet. Guys, the channel members, that is the word I was looking for in the intro. The channel members do get advantages. Um, that is beyond subscription. If you press subscription, it will change into join. That's when you become a channel member. That's a monthly fee. You can decide how much you want to share. Garrick, to Ming North, and the Kingfisher towards the alcohol control checkpoint. Yeah. I think that's what you call it. The chain. I think in both effects work now, yes. Looks better. I should walk a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, I'm not anyway. up before the chickens. Normally when I pass here the chicken is still sleeping in the tree. Yes, that beautiful sound and views here on the beach right before sunrise. There was some small bird. No, yes, there it goes. Fluttering around here. And look at this path here. I must get some shoes. This is worth exploring. late literally the time it takes me to pick up the camera the red diker crossed in front of us damn what bird is that that one that one Yeah, it's a little, a nice show that little one. Right, the first pass, stretch of the first 2.4 kilometers has been completed. There's no boat here yet, so I'm going to continue for the eastern mouth and see what I get when I, what I find when I get there. We have arrived here at Ingwe Beach. There is a couple of people fishing down there to the south. You can see, I don't have to say that's pretty. Another blessed day, let's go. Even with this wet sand, 
the wind was horrible last night. And the ocean was angry, it washed over again. The surf is not nice here at Ingwe, but there is some nice gullies for me. Got a wash over here. Happens on high tide. The ocean is angry. I don't know if this brings much value to marine life or bird life. Of course, I don't see any life in it as such. And it dries up between two tidal surges. Between two tidal pushes, it dries up a lot. So, other than the zooplankton that needs to grow under the sand like the uh, Varuna crop lav, larva, lav, I don't see much benefit, but it did happen. Guys, this space is available for 20 seconds ad break at 500 rand per week or 2000 rand per month. There, it came from around this corner. We're almost there. Let's have a look. Something happened to our tree stump. Probably human intervention. This is where the wash over happened. Then it washes in here. And I believe it goes behind that dune, find its way into the estuary. So let's go and have a look and see if it does find its way into the estuary. Then I might miss the track there. Okay, this way around it didn't find its way to the estuary. Definitely not. This is our migrating sand dune and there's no way around it the back way. There is. It doesn't reach the estuary around that way. And who are you? I can't see, but it's probably a yellow bull kite. The wash over here this one might have reached the estuary let's go and check nope the ocean wasn't angry enough to push over here into the estuary with this tidal search not yet guys we do understand the city uh, the sentiment not rich we know about the dunford layer we know about the damage to the system we know about the organisms that we damage but currently in that system over there, there's nothing that the dredger can kill. Of course, all the organisms that grows with us, a sand base. All the fish that needs to spawn is sediment based, sand based. But, with the sand washing in as it is, we're going to lose the whole system. It's grown another 50 meters to the south and another 75 meters to the west. And we need to, with human intervention, we need to retard the sediment spill uh, build up in the, the channel that leads up to the estuarine system. Now there is a sentiment to have the Infolosium Sanduzi system drained straight into the ocean so that when it comes down in flood, it takes all the heavy mud and everything that needs to fall a carbonated sandstone rocks to be built into the ocean where it needs to be formed. I'm going to try and reach that point now. The only commercial activity that we can have on a 
sandbank like this is beach cottages. Beach cottages. And that has got no feeding value or it can, uh, bi biological value. It doesn't contribute to the harmony of the ecosystem if we build hotels and beach cottages along here. That is stupid. I don't care. I don't care you can hate me, you can slash my tires. That is flipping ridiculous. Itself, if you want to walk six and a half kilometers in the morning, bring extra water and get back out of this bridge so that you can thin the blood a little bit. This is this is insane. But worth it. From here to the estuary is now about four, four, maybe five hundred meters. And the sediment built up just keeps on building up. And that, that's normal on the east coast of Africa. That's how our geology works. And if we want the estuary to function a little bit longer, because it's now dying because of human interference, farming, not only sugarcane farms, listen, this problem originates in Freyet and even further beyond Freyet. And we have to manage it here until we've got a government that wants to manage it between here and Freyet. So that's it. We need, to, we need to remove the sediment to give the system the best chance of survival. Beach cottages cannot have the income that protein that this system produces can render. This system can produce vast, vast amounts of protein in the excess of a billion rand a year. Way above a billion rand. But it seems that the powers to be doesn't want KZN to be uh, that, that proficient, self-sufficient. The tendency that I feel here is somebody is trying to take control over the protein. And I mean a billion rand a year industry is quite a substantial industry to get control over. It could even be more. This is this is a low a low ball estimate. It could be way above three billion rand a year. Now listen, you office mechanics, you guys better start working. The land, the country is busy going bankrupt. It's because you've got too many much excuses and too little effort and too little pride in your work. Get off your backsides, get to the office early, and be proud of what you're doing, whether you appreciate it or not. You need to do it for the heritage of our children. The whole country depends on you. What the hell is that? Looks like a hippo heads from here. Let's get closer. Looks like a rock. Hey? Looks like a rock. Let's just get closer to this. The power of hydrology is very amazing. Right, I just passed the five kilometer mark. No lift in sight yet. One and a half kilometers to go, then I'm at Papelon Bay at the launch site. Come on, Petrus. Hurry up, hurry up. Pick up the speed, pick up the pace. is angry. This is a normally very very calm piece of beach here at the entrance to the bay. This is the, the channel entrance to the bay. And that is the bay. The ocean is angry. three boats on the launch side today. Stuart, are you going to be delayed today? Ah, oh, there's Wiseman. No. With Wiseman as a helping hand, probably not. The legend of, of a 145 Landini. 
steward taking a white berth um, with that big boat and the 145 Landini. Yesterday they impressed us, they didn't get delayed. Hey steward, don't get delayed today, eh? I'm going to do a Pumba update right here on my doorstep. Those are the two males. They are quite hubris, abrasive, but they're not as bad as the young boar that comes into town. They, they timid. Once you chase them, they, they go away. They don't charge like that one young boar. Oh, wind is blowing already. Anyway, we all know the routine. Ocean girl, here we come. We'll make it just over seven kilometers for the day. Yes, it's time for part this afternoon walk. And I'm gonna see how close I can get to four kilometers. Uh, well, three kilometers, so I can fill my 10 kilometer goal for the day. But I must tell you, the body is weak. Uh, we are bruised, battered and bruised. She got a, a itch treatment today. We've got a stand over here. Another nerve wrecking. Where did I how did I miss that big? Round one ball. How did us? What's happening here? Where's that ground on bolt gone to? I haven't checked up lately on uh, the nesting pair there at John I must remember to check up on them. A hell of a bird party going on here. The end of Pelican Street. One of my favorite building spots. I can hear them, but currently I don't see them. And there's a folk tail drum go. Not that I like them very much. Gaan speel maar. Gaan speel. Ik heb een beetje een duiker. Standing like such that the camera won't focus on it. 
That's a better shot of you. Right, we've got guinea fowl, we've got red diker, we've got Pardet very obedient. I was scared that she's chasing the red diker before I've got a photo of him. But I've got nice footage, come on, gaan. Jy is baie suit. Jy is my gully girl. Red diker is still standing in the same spot. If you don't see me, I don't see you. So well behaved, Dad. So well behaved. Hey, you guys go. Okay. Work on that grass allergy, but need to work on it. Daddy's got the right medication for you. I don't know what it is, but trust Daddy. Work on the grass allergy. The Biden Kamala Harris thing in um, America has now been driven to a point with the open borders things. <laughs> They don't have any more, any more, they can't lean any more to the left. They're losing voters left, right and center. So guys, get your pronouns right. It's very important. Oh, beautiful, beautiful forest giant this. Take this shortcut over here. And Pardet is sign writing all over the big pigs. I call them big pigs, the hippos. Territory. Yes, Pardet. You're gonna get us into trouble. I've been no I've known this giant has fallen now for a while. Just never had the opportunity to come past it. Just rotten off right at the ground. Look over there.
Ja, kom hier. Pardet. Ons gaan nie sien te heen. Ons gaan staan sien te heen. Okay guys, one thing about my channel is my videos is in date and time sequence. Except if I try and do a storyline, then I bring a little bit of, I skip it, the timeline in a couple of minutes or a few seconds. But you can be rest assured that my videos is in date sequence and mostly on time sequence. They're not scrambled. But that we in time for the sunset. Can you believe it? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's walk. We here at Sunset Jetty, and uh, Bardet and myself is going to return home now. I don't know if there's much in the main street that will happen that we can video. So there might be a post goodbye insert, but I think this is it. See you again tomorrow.